Hi Mecha Beauty Junkies, my name is Emily and I'm from Mecha HQ. Today I'm going to show you my absolute go-to humidity proof, heat proof makeup look. You asked for it, here it is. Let's get started. So the first step for a long wear makeup look that's going to last the distance in humid weather is a really good primer. Today I'm going to be using the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Primer. This is really beautiful, it's going to blur any imperfections as well as keep the skin hydrated and make sure that makeup doesn't move. So up next is our foundation. Here I have the Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation by Hourglass and the Hourglass Foundation Brush number two. This particular foundation does dry quite quickly so work with it quickly on the skin. So sort of work in sections. Up next is concealer. Here I have the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. This is beautiful and it is one of the most full coverage concealers we stock here at Mecca. Personally, I prefer to just apply it with my fingers underneath the eye. I find the warmth of my finger really helps to sort of melt it in and make it look quite natural. I like to add a little bit of concealer on the top of my eyes as well. So up next, I'm gonna set everything with this beautiful powder from RMS. This one here is the Un Powder. I'm going to be using the Mecca Cosmetica All Over Finishing Brush. It will help set your makeup as well as absorb any additional oil that you might get on your face throughout the day. Press that in gently into any areas you know are going to get maybe a little bit shiny. It's also got light reflecting pigments in it as well. So it will actually diffuse light to help give a really beautiful soft focus effect. So up next, so that I don't look like a ghost, I'm going to add a little bit of colour to my face. Here we have the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronze. This is amazing, it's universally flattering. I'm going to grab the NARS Ita Kabuki brush. If it's hot and humid and you're sweating up on the dance floor, anything with a shimmer in it might kind of highlight that. So keep it matte. The main feature of this look really is the base, but I am going to add a little bit of an eye. So here we have the Stilla Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Lionfish. As the name suggests with this one too, it is nice and waterproof. Today I'm just simply going to scribble it all over my eyelid and work really quickly with my fingers to warm up the product and blend it all in for a really quick smoky eye. So next is lashes. Here I've got the Kevin Aquan The Volume Mascara. This is going to coat your lashes really beautifully. It volumizes, it lengthens and it separates. And the best thing is it's got a tubing formula, which means at the end of your event, when you can't be bothered taking your makeup off, it just comes off in little tubes and all you need to use is water. So for those of you that always find your mascara seems to drop underneath your eye, this will not happen with this one. No panda eyes here. So I want my brows to stay up here and not down here. The answer to that is the Stilla Stay All Day Waterproof Brow Pen. It's waterproof, so it's not gonna budge. So you can even wear it to the gym or to the beach if you don't wanna go out of the house without having any brows on. Now for lips. Here I have the Too Faced Melted Matte. This is the Liquid Matte Longwear Lipstick. Now I love this because it goes on like a gloss, but it sets as a nice, beautiful, opaque matte finish, which means it won't budge. And if you're getting around at a summer wedding and there's lots of hors d'oeuvres and you wanna eat, you don't have to touch it up. So to finish everything off, we're going to set this makeup look. Here I have the D-Slick Setting Spray by Urban Decay. Just like all the other setting sprays in the Urban Decay family, this is going to hold everything down for a very long time, as well as help control any oil that might occur throughout the day. All you need to do is a couple of spritzes all over the face to finish. So that's my sweat proof makeup look finished. Don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions on makeup looks we should cover on the channel. Make sure you throw us a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.